Hello everyone, welcome back to Relative Security. Today we are going to talk about different roles and responsibilities of uh, individuals working in a security operations center. Just to talk about briefly about the team hierarchy, you might have seen this hierarchy before as well in one of the other videos. So at the top we have put SOC manager, then we have L3 analyst, L2 analyst and at the third tier L1 analyst. So we'll start talking about the roles and responsibilities of these all the um, individuals starting from L1 analyst. So the L1 analyst is the first line of defense in your threat monitoring team or in your security operations center. The role of an L1 or the level one analyst in a security operations center is foundational to the overall security posture of an organization. Because L1 analyst plays a crucial role in monitoring, detecting and responding to the security alerts. There are, these are the first line of soldiers with their eyes on screen 24 by seven to monitor the alerts. They are identifying the uh, anomalies they are doing the investigations and if there are any uh, false positives, they are raising the request for the whitelisting as well. So when they are doing the monitoring and analysis, what we are doing exactly is they are continuously monitoring security alerts and events from various sources such as SIM solution, firewalls and IDS. They do perform the initial triage on security alerts to determine their severity and validity they prioritize the alerts based on their potential impact and the risk to the organization. They do the basic investigations into the security alerts to understand the nature of the alert. This involves analyzing log files, network traffic, and other relevant data sources. In case they find something useful, they will be creating and managing incident tickets for tracking and documentation purposes as well. They escalate the alerts into investigations or incidents to the higher level analysts, for example, the L2. Then they collaborate with other SOC team members and relevant stakeholders to share the information about that particular ticket or alarm or alert to ensure a coordinated response to any security incident. They have to use different tools and technologies to assist in the incident detection, analysis and response. This will include familiarity with SIM solutions, EDRs, and any other security solutions which they are assigned to monitor. Lastly, they provide very clear and concise shift handovers to ensure seamless transitions between SOC shifts. They share any critical information that they might have seen during their uh, um, rotation about the ongoing incidents and any notable changes in the security landscape. So they serve as the first line of defense in the SOC. The second would be the L2 analyst. So in SOC, L2 or the level two analyst plays a critical role in the enhancing of organizational cybersecurity posture. Their responsibility will involve a combination of technical expertise, such as incident response capabilities and collaboration with other security professionals. In some cases, they are also monitoring the alerts, but they are more towards active response where they are doing the threat hunting. They involve themselves in mentoring of the L1 analysts. They approve the whitelists that are escalated by L1. And then if there are any escalated in investigations, L2s are the ones that are actually looking into it. So they basically analyze all the security alerts and investigations escalated from L1. They conduct in-depth investigations to determine the nature and scope of the security incident. They would triage the incidents based on severity and potential impact, responding to security incidents promptly and effectively. They will coordinate with other members of the incident response team to maintain and to ensure that it is contained, eradicated, and recovered. And they will prepare the reports for particular investigation or the incident. They proactively search for signs of malicious activity within the organization's network and systems. 
they ensure that all the detection strategies within your sim solution are working properly they are there are not lots of false positive triggered they correlate information from various resources sources to identify patterns and then uh, indicate if there are any patterns which are indicative of threats they also collaborate with risk management and vulnerability management team members as well so the key difference lies in the nature of the triage of an incident between l1 and l2 l1 analyst will conduct the initial triage of a security alert categorizing incidents and following predefined playbooks however the l2 analyst handles escalated incidents conducting more sophisticated and detailed analysis this includes delving into the intricacies of incidents understanding the tactics and techniques employed by the adversaries and contributing to the strategic decision making in incident response efforts let's talk about level 3 analyst or in some cases he is considered soc lead as well a level 3 analyst typically referred as a senior or a lead position is responsible for overseeing and managing advanced security operations he will be contributing to build towards the development of a socks long term strategic goals and objectives aligning security operations with the organization's overall objectives he will be involved in the escalated incidents which are coming from the l2 he will decide if this particular incident will stay within soc or it needs to be referred to the incident response team as well he will be involved in ensuring that all the processes defined within the security operations center are being followed all the metrics associated with the security operations are within the defined kpis all the documentation going out of the soc be it the incident report be it the uh, overall uh, matrix report of weekly or monthly report they are up to the mark if there are any queries from the client coming in l3 is the lead who is responsible for all the stakeholders communication so he is like a bridge between the management and the technical team so the next role that we are going to talk about is the soc manager he is defining the strategy and the road map of soc operations if there are any new services that are going to be launched he will be defining those services in close collaboration with the l3 he defines the operational cost the capital cost that will be required for a particular service to be added the new ones and then the operational cost of all the services that a soc is offering he is planning for entire team what are the different trainings that each member of the team has to go for in a year and then definitely he is responsible for all the security operations and coordination of um uh, different uh, technical and managerial coordination with all the stakeholders he will be he will be overseeing actually the development of the sim platform he'll be making sure that the uh, all the log sources are onboarded correctly he is basically responsible for everything underneath or everything undergoing in a soc operation center the next one we will be talking about is sim engineer his main role is to ensure that the tool the sim tool or the platform is working properly he'll be deploying configuring and maintaining the sim platform to ensure it accurately collects and correlates security event data from various sources he'll be making sure that all the data sources including logs he will make sure that all the data sources are configured properly including logs from network devices servers applications or other security technologies 
and they are feeding into the sim. Based on all the data that is being collected, he'll ensure that the use cases are developed and they are being fine-tuned regularly. There are, if there are any false positive, lots of false positive being reported from the SOC L3, he'll make sure that all those false positive or the rule that is triggering and causing lots of false positive gets fine-tuned. If there are any threat intelligence platforms, those get integrated with the SIM solution and then ensuring that all the reports are generated on time, clearly defining the security events, incidents, and other KPIs that are defined within the reports. One last role that we are going to discuss is the threat hunter. In any security operation center, it plays a critical role in proactively actively identifying and mitigating potential security threats before they escalate. So if you see the role of L1 analyst, they are waiting for the alerts or alarms to come on the screen and then they start the investigation. In the case of Threat Hunter, he doesn't wait for things to happen or alerts to trigger. He has to take a proactive approach in identifying the threats. So he'll be doing continuously monitoring as well. He'll be actively monitoring networks, systems, and logs to identify unusual or suspicious patterns of activity. Basically, he's looking for anomalies and seeks out signs of compromise that may go undetected by the uh, detection strategies in place. He has, due to the nature of his job, he has to keep himself abreast of the latest threat intelligence to understand emerging threats and tactics used by adversaries, ensure that it integrate external threat intelligence feeds into the hunting activities to identify indicators of compromise. He will be using advanced threat hunting tools and techniques to identify sophisticated and stealthy threats. He'll employ behavioral analysis to identify abnormal patterns that may indicate malicious activity. And of course, sometimes he will have to simulate adversarial tactics to develop and execute threat simulations to emulate adversary behaviors and assess the effectiveness of security controls. Basically, he's enhancing the organization's proactive cybersecurity posture by identifying and addressing threats early in the threat life cycle. So these are the different roles that we discussed today, starting from the L1, L2, L3, SOC manager, SIM manager, SIM engineer, and threat hunter. If you have any question regarding these roles and responsibilities, please feel free to comment and we'll do our best to respond. And don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for your time. Take care.